In today's video, I'm going to give you a beginner's guide to ThoughtSpot. If you find this video useful, please consider liking and subscribing, and let's get right into the video. ThoughtSpot is an AI-powered analytics platform, and it's a really, really useful one which has a free trial. So we can go ahead and actually get the free trial on ThoughtSpot.com. So what you want to do, you can actually go ahead and get a demo if you want to, and they'll walk you through it. Or you can go ahead to the top right, click on free trial, and we need to go ahead and sign up for a free trial account here. So it's very simple, just go ahead and answer the questions. Okay, so once we've signed up for an account, the first thing it's going to get us to go ahead and do is to create a connection. By default, they have a ton of um, connections already, or like integrations. You can just put your connection name up here, and you can connect it with all of these here. Um, you know, there's tons of different options. You can either you can also use a CSV file as well. Um, and if you don't see your database, you can just press I don't see my database and look at some of the other options. Um, so once you've selected your data set, you'll be shown over here or you'll be brought over here. Um, this is the home page here. And I have some uh, demo data here. And what we can do is first of all, it's going to show us all of the different bits of data. We can go ahead and add a KPI for our watch list. So they have a ton of different KPIs here and these are going to show up here. So right now we have sales by month and the WAU last week. But you can see what we can do is click onto here. And this is going to show us the live board for that piece of information or that data set. Um, you can see it might take a second to load, but you can see the data here. You know, we can click on it and see it. We can add filters here so we can add, you know, regions, stores. So let's say the Nevada store. We can go ahead and add that or we can change it to this quarter, for example. So we can see the uh, traffic here, or whatever sales. And then we can go ahead and we can actually change some things here. We've also got our comparisons here, so we can do East versus Midwest, for example. Um, that's not going to show up here because we don't have that data set already done, but that's just an example of some of the stuff you can do. So if we go back over to Home, we can also go down here onto all of the different boards that we might have. It shows us the author, the amount of views, and the last time viewed. We can go in to click any of these um, boards here, let's say User Adoption, and it will take us over to the live board for that specific one. So you can see it's very, very useful there. Now what we have here is we have our answers here. So if we have some uh, questions, we can answer them here with the data. So the top 10 selling stores, for example, we can click into that and it's going to give us the data for that. It might take a second to load, especially if it's new data and it's analyzing it. But it's going to go ahead and load it up for you. And here we go. The data is now loaded here. So we can see the top, telling, top 10 selling stores. It shows us the uh, total sales, the store. And we can also change some things like the uh, quantity purchased, you know, the different attributes here. So we can change the uh, city. For example, we can add that in here. We can add the date, all of that kind of stuff here. And that will just change up the chart a little bit to have all of that data um, in included essentially. Now we've already looked a little bit at our live boards. But if we go to live boards here, these are the live ones. And we go ahead, press the plus here, and we can actually add a new live board. So we can create it here. And if we click into it, we can go ahead and we can search data. And we can go ahead and create that live board based upon the data. So, um, you know, there's all the different bits of data that we might have here. We can go ahead and add them. Uh, we can just add something like this. We can press go. And it's going to bring up the data. But obviously, it's going to change based upon the different things you have. So let's say this one here. We'll replace that. And we can go ahead and grab some data from here. Uh, we can say zip code. Press go. And it's going to show us the bits of data about zip codes. So these are different zip codes. Then we can also add another piece of data along with it. So we could do something like sales. Um, try sales here. Press go. And it should show us the total sales by zip code here. Uh, it might take a second. There we go. And you can see that we actually have the different uh, zip codes on the map. We can go back to the view of the table if we want to here. But both of those views are pretty useful. Um, and if you go here, you can actually save these views. You can download this. You can sync it to sheets, all of those different things. If we go over here, what we can do is we can actually look at different charts as well. So we can use all these different kind of charts. Um, you know, obviously some of them are going to work better. Um, you can see here, 
we can use a donut chart, we can use a column, we can use stacked columns. Um, there's a ton of different ones here. You can use a waterfall, a scatter. You know, as you can see, some of them are going to be better suited for different data sets, essentially. But you can go ahead and you can just use that data here. Uh, you can also change which axis things are on, so what's on the X, what's on the Y. Um, and you've got some general settings there. Do you want to display the labels or not? Um, and you've got some advanced settings here as well, just like colors, sizes, all that kind of stuff, really. And we've got the eye here, so we can just look at the different details about it. And then down here, we have some um, like some data here that we can use if we have the paid plan. We have our spot IQ here. So this is um, a one we need to schedule a call to use, essentially. Um, monitor, we can track specific KPIs. Again, we're going to have to go ahead and book a call for that. We have our data over here, so we can actually create new data workspace. Um, and we can use a connection, as I showed you earlier, all these different ones here, or we can just go ahead and actually create the database, uh, create a worksheet here. And we can go ahead, choose the source, and we can do that. But we can also import with a CSV file, which tends to be um, a pretty useful feature for when you don't have a connection there. So you can go ahead, upload your CSV like that. We have our admin settings here, so admin, stuff like our users, if we want to go ahead and add a user to our account, we can go ahead and do that, very simple to do, add user, put their email in, um, you put their display name, visibility, and you can also assign them to groups and give them specific privileges on here. Uh, you've got your onboarding stuff here, and then you've got your pricing of data stuff, which I'll speak about in a second. You've also got your develop here, so you can develop um, different bits of charts here. Um, and they give you some walkthroughs on how you can actually go ahead and do that. Under setup, you're going to be able to set up a bit more of the stuff. So connect your data, pick the models and the um, visualizations, that kind of thing. And that's all pretty useful. But as I said, we go back into admin here. Um, we can go to the pricing section here. Um, again, something that takes a second to load. And then depending on which one you want, if you want the um, analytics plan, Starts $95 a month for five users, that's, bump, that's billed monthly, and it goes all the way up to um, $1,250 a month for 20 users, those are sort of the preset plans. And then if you want anything higher up, then you're going to have to pay more and you're going to have to contact sales. But down here it's going to tell you everything that's involved and that they're going to get with each of those different plans. Um, but yeah, that is a basic overview of how it all works. You can go ahead and book a one-to-one -one call with an expert and they will be able to walk you through things um, in a lot more detail and kind of customize a plan for your specific needs. But if you found the video useful, be sure to go down below and like and subscribe. Comment down below if it helped you out. And if there's any other videos you'd like me to make about any softwares, then please let me know and I will happily go ahead and do that for you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.